Hey everyone and welcome back. We practice our edge slides going straight and we put it all together in the J turns. So now it's time for C turns. C turns are basically sliding on one edge, then adding a J turn by going straight down and turning to the new edge. So for a warm up, it'll be a great idea to go over all those previous steps. All the links are in the description below. Now, before we start, remember your body position with your body stacked with hips and shoulders above your knees. On your heel edge, keep a slight sitting position and on your toe edge, your knees slightly bent toward the snow. Now, this is really important. Remember that your front knee is leading the movement. So we will open the knee when we want to move to our heel side and we will close and press the knee down when we want to turn to the toe side. As always, look around and watch your surroundings. We're going to move a lot side to side, so watch out for skiers and riders coming down fast. Now let's go. We'll start with toe to heel C turn. Start on your toes facing uphill. Slide on that edge, so look and point to the side of your front foot. To move straight down, reach your front hand forward, then move your way to the front foot and get the board flat. And now open your leading knee and point and look to the side to initiate the turn. When you arrive to your heel edge, press evenly to come to a complete stop. Now when you're ready to stop, try to feel that angle of the tilt of your board. Feeling how much pressure you apply can help you understand and control your speed and a really good practice for stopping. Okay, we're on our heel side. Now let's do a C turn from heel to toe. Start with a slide on your heel edge. Press on the toes and move the way to the front foot and look downhill. Close your knee and press the leading foot to initiate the turn to the toes. Apply more pressure evenly on the toes to come to a complete stop. It's really important to be patient, so don't rush the turns. Especially don't skip that middle step of moving straight downhill. Moving straight down will give you speed and you need some speed in order to move and turn. But it's also crucial in helping you move your weight forward to the front foot and getting the board flat before turning to your new edge. If you skip that step of moving straight down, your weight might not be in the front and you might not make the turn or your board will catch edge and you'll fall. Whatever happens, it's important to take your time and after each C turn, come to a complete stop. Realign yourself, regain your balance before continuing to another C turn to the other side. And don't get frustrated. If you feel it's not quite happening, it's okay. Just go back to practice traverse and J turns and try again. And as you gain confidence, just start reducing that time you stop between the C turns. That's when you know you're ready for the next step, the S turns. So don't forget to subscribe and stick around for the next video. See ya.